Well, not really. Knackered things from then on, you know. I can imagine, yeah. Mm. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm not giving up. I want to marry her. Well, it's not really my concern, is it? Eh? Well, I'm here for your physical well-being, not your emotional. Oh, excuse me, Michael, it's never stopped you voicing your opinion before, so it hasn't. As I recall, you were dead keen for Liz and I to get back together again. <laughs> as a matter of fact, didn't you tell her that we should regard you as our holistic therapist? Whatever in the name of God that's supposed to mean. She told you that? No, well, she did indeed. As a matter of fact, she never shuts up about you. If you and I weren't mates, you know, I'd have my nose shoved well out of joint, let me tell you. Yeah, um, I've really got to get going. I'm running very late today. Right, OK. Hey, listen. Before you go, I want to show you something. Up in practice. Watch it. Uh, Jim, don't. No, no, wait, no. wait, what? Jim, I, I, you know, your frame's coming really soon. I, I think you ought to save your best efforts for that, really. Right. Um, I'll see you later, all right? Hi. No white head got a touch. Nothing was going to stop that one. Fails twice like grip on the game maintained. There you are. Yeah. I've spent the day thinking. I saw, I. Jim, we've got some sorting to do. I know. This is not going to be easy. No, listen, please. Look, Liz. It's my fault. I've been... I've been a fool. I've been rushing things. No, no I wasn't... No, please, wait, wait. I've been a fool. I've been rushing things. And I just want one more chance. Please, just one more chance. Jim. No, listen, I haven't finished. You see, I, 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 I don't want commitment anymore. Do you see? I just want you to be there for me. To be there? Aye. Don't you see? If I know you're there for me, then I've got something to aim for, haven't I? Some motivation to get me back on my feet. Then when I'm standing up, then we'll make decisions about our future. What do you say, eh? Hey, just give me a chance. Please, say yes. Tell me you love me. It's all right, Jim, send me. What a surprise. Do you know, I thought I was going to see less of you, Mike, once ago. Yeah, sorry. I was just dropping this off, actually. Yeah, you know, it's arrived, your frame, made to measure. Very nice. So, how's it going, then? Yep. Yeah. I'm getting there. Good. Well, that ought to make things a bit easier. How's things with Liz? She's fine. I'll tell you one thing about Liz, Michael. She doesn't bear a grudge. I do, you see, she doesn't. She's a good girl. Yeah. Listen, um, I can't stay long, just dropping by, really. But, um, I wanted you to be one of the first people to know. Now, I've applied for a new job in Milton Keynes. I see. Is that like promotion? Well, if I get it, it is, yeah. See, the trouble is the interview's Wednesday, and if I was to get it, they want me to start pretty soon. Ah, oh, well. Good for you, Michael. Yeah, yeah, it is good for me. It's not so good for the people I visit, though. Ah. Well, just as I was getting used to seeing less of you, turns out I'm seeing more of you all the time. So? You don't think I'll get it, then? Well, I hope you get what you want, Michael, and if you do get it, I wish you all the success in the world. And don't you worry, I'll tell Elizabeth. She'll be dead chuffed for you. See you what, Gary, in a couple of months, I'll be coming into this pub with my own steam van around you, wait and see. Oh, can't wait for that. Right. Two pints, please, Lorraine. Coming up. I'll be back. Oh, here. It's just kidding. <laughs> Gary, get us a red wine when you're there, will you? Oh, will do. Uh, red wine as well, please, Lorraine. Good man. So what have you been up to this morning? Well, I, uh, I had a visitor. Oh? Ah, Michael. The man who said he was going to pop around less frequently, you know what I mean? And what did he want? He came around to tell me he's leaving the area. What do you mean? Why? 
Well, he's going to Milton Keynes. Possible promotion. You got an interview on Wednesday? Oh, well. If he gets it, fair play to him. Well, he's a good man. I reckon he'll get it. Well, there could be a couple of hundred people after the same job. Oh, hey, fair play, but he's the only one with an interview, isn't he? I reckon he'll walk it. Then they'll send someone else round to visit, no doubt. Which, I suppose, isn't a bad thing, given the fact that we don't have much of a family left to speak of, innit? Better start on me, sad old git. Here! We don't want any fighting in here. No, oh, don't worry, I'm good. Why don't I you did... just clear off? Hasn't he embarrassed you enough? I don't know why you're hanging round with him, wasting your time. Why don't you just get out? You've been there. You know how dull and nasty it is? I said, get out. Mum, you want to get away from him and make a life for yourself, because otherwise you're just going to be a slave forever. Shut up and get out. You know nothing. Nothing good. Elizabeth, just ignore him, all right? I am. Now, just 170 men live and work. Where have you been? Uh, well, I popped in on Deirdre. She was feeling a bit low, so... I'm sorry I should have run tell you where I was. It's not really Deirdre, though, who's feeling low, is it? Not really. You what? It's you. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Steve, he upset you at lunchtime. I know he did. No, he didn't. Look, it's OK. I do know. Know what? You don't have to pretend, Elizabeth. I'm not pretending. Yes, you are pretending, Elizabeth, and I wish you wouldn't. Look, I know you like to put a brave face on things to protect me. It's very nice, but it's not necessary. As a matter of fact, I wish you'd... Well, I wish you'd share it with me. The fact you're upset, so I can support you, like you've supported me. Yeah, well, I'm all right now. Right. Well, that's good. Just promise me you won't bottle things up. I won't. Honestly, I'm fine. Right. I'll settle then. I'll go and get the taxi. I take it we're still on for supper? Yeah, of course. <sighs> I want a second opinion. I think I've overdone it on the materials. So, when are you planning on going around? This afternoon. I can't carry. I've got physio. I could pick you up straight after. All oh, right. OK, that'll be great. Cheers. Are you joking? Is that 22 already? Yeah, I'm not not due back till 1. Oh, I shouldn't worry about it. He'll have heard by now, anyway. Heard what? Who? Michael. He's gone for a job in Milton Keynes, so he has. Milton Keynes? Well, he's going to have to get used to it, Gary, let me tell you, because I reckon he'll get the job. 